John Cena coming out there doing nothing but Ace Ventura impersonations. Nobody wants to see that. Well, I guess that crowd wanted to see that. They loved it, but really? Loser doing that? And Cheap Pops talking about the Pittsburgh Penguins and the, and uh, how much I hate John Laurinaitis. Basically, if he, if he was on Twitter, he was basically asking for retweets. Retweet this if you like, if you hating so-and-so and everybody, you know, retweeting all that stuff. That's basically what he was doing with this audience. And this went on for 15 minutes. 15 minutes of what? This closed out the show. Based, in my opinion, they lost buys. I mean, <laughs> people already were shaky about buying this pay-per-view. Triple H come out there. Triple H come out there spilling his crap, you know, his old school, I am the greatest and this blah, blah, blah. And nobody really cares about what Triple H says anymore. He, uh, Paul Heyman comes out there. Trotting with this with this strut, he was strutting to the Brock Lesnar music like I never seen nobody strut like that to that music before. He made it like it was like it was like magic. It was like floating on floating on the cloud to that music. Oops. Yeah, he comes into the ring, basically telling Triple H that by ripping Brock Lesnar's contract doesn't mean anything. He's still signed with the company, and uh, John Lor John Laurinaitis' contract is still intact. Triple H is upset about this. He's upset, and so he grabs Paul Heyman. For some reason, you know, just because he's mad in Triple H and because he's on, he's suffering from roid rage a little. But, he was like, like that? Was he throwing up gay signs? And so Triple H, he walks up like, yeah, I showed him, man. I, nobody messes with Triple H. Yeah, I touches your face anytime I want. And Pine was like, nuh-uh, nuh-uh. I'm going to sue your ass for that, too. So basically, Triple H got two lawsuits now on him. I didn't mention that Paul Heyman, you know, basically told him that he was suing Triple H for a breaching of contract. But yeah, he did that. Big Show. Oh, we got this Matt Classic between Big Show and Kane. Nobody, nobody wanted this. It was Kane. Kane was like 0 for 14 against anybody, so I don't know how this is even punishment. Which, which leads to Kane giving him the worst choke slam of all time. Big Show didn't get no elevation. It looked like Big Show tripped over. That's what it looked like. John Laurinaitis gets in the ring, basically telling Big Show to apologize, get on his knees to apologize. Big Show spends like six minutes trying to get on his knees. And I, he just couldn't do it. I'm not sure if it was like injuries that, which led to him to not be able to get onto that knee, but he could not get onto that knee. So basically he goes to John Laurinaitis, he goes, John making these ugly cry faces because he can't really cry tears because even he's believing this is bullshit. John, please, I need this. I love coming down that ramp in front of the kids and blah, 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 basically rambling about how much he loves wrestling. John Laurinaitis leaves the ring, talking about he considered it. Big Show's left there crying and, and relieved at the same time, but then John Laurinaitis stops at the ramp, stops at the ramp and basically says, I've, I've, <laughs> I've considered it, I went over it. And he fires the Big Show over the, on the spot. Big Show goes into tears, which I found hilarious. I shouldn't have found this funny, but come on now. Big Show pretending to cry was, was pretty hilarious. <laughs> Godspeed, Spider-Man. Big Show is fired. Well, he's for like four weeks. I don't think he's really fired. It's a depressing moment of Big Show crying, which wasn't depressing to me, but I'm pretty sure it's depressing to a lot of other people. Here come the Funkasaurus and his Funkettes dancing over to Big Show's grave. They didn't care. They don't care about Big Show. They don't care about his family. They just out there to party. They are heartless bastards. You know, it's one thing to like come out there and party and everything, but there's, there's another thing to like show some kind of remorse. The guy just lost his job after 20 years, and here you're coming out here dancing. Brodus Clay. Brodus Clay is sick. He does. He's, he's selfish. Selfish man. Yeah, that's it for this edition of Ryan After All. Stay sharp.